This is a land whose people have always lived under the menace of marauding tigers. It is a tense relationship. These hunters in 60s India looked on tigers as a dangerous pest. Today, the global population is on its knees. But there is some good news after a century of destruction. A hundred years ago, there were estimated to be 100,000 tigers in the wild. By 2010, their numbers had fallen to as few as 3,200. But the latest survey shows their numbers on the rise to almost 3,900. Tigers are cats and they will breed well if they have the right space available to them, if they have the right prey available to them, and if we protect them from poachers. In those conditions, tiger numbers can increase, and we have seen that in some of the censuses that have been undertaken by countries like Russia, India, Nepal, Bhutan. The biggest tiger population is in India. Numbers here have risen in the past decade due to better forest management and moving villages away from tiger habitats. But campaigners fear the Indian government's easing of environmental controls could put these gains at risk. And poachers are a major threat to the tiger's survival. The trade in animal parts for so-called traditional medicine is worth billions. It may be the first time in the history of tiger conservation that their numbers have gone up, but the threats have not gone away. Richard Lister, BBC News.